So the winner of this set is going to have to fight C. Caleb. We've been kind of tearing it up lately with uh, both Pac-Man Steve, apparently, too, and, uh, <laughs> and me, Gunner. Yeah, Sensei came a long way pretty quickly with the Zero Suit. I know he's he's improved like really, really quickly with it. I've seen it a few times on Elite Smash as well. Like, he's, he's really been putting in the work with this character and just grinding him out. Yeah, he's definitely been doing a lot, like developing like little aspects of CSS's like combo game, as well as like developing his own unique neutral. Mm -hmm. um, it's definitely a little bit different from most DSS. Like, typically, they like to like zone out and kind of just stand in place near. He uh, kind of likes to go in. <laughs> yeah, my man, my man likes to be very, very aggressive. A lot of his options, which I, I definitely like to see. Uh, a lot of good players will put their own spin on a character and try to like defy the status quo of what you know usually works with a character, which I think honestly gives them the extra push to become a little bit more notable. Mega, for example, plays like a pretty unique Ike, I'd say. He's very, very aggressive. My man swings a lot and picks some crazy options like those smashes in neutral right there, but they work. They work sometimes. That was a beautiful side beat to the right flat. That was really good. Okay, Mega making it back, just trying to trying to get something here off on Sensei, trying to pin down his movement in some way, shape, or form, but I like how Sensei's just been kind of dancing around his shield, not playing too unsafely. Nice parry. Yeah, Sensei, Sensei been going for a lot of these up smashes on shield, uh, but it worked right there. He uh, Mega tried to punish with like a little bit laggier of an option that he probably should have used there and just got boost kicked out of shield for his troubles. It's kind of the, the beauty behind CSF's boost kick. It's like, if somebody tries to whiff punish you and it doesn't come out fast enough, then you can just throw out that up e and it's, it just kills you. <laughs> yeah, it's a great out of shield option. It's weird because, like, it's a lot of out of shield options don't leave you, like, like air, aerial born or airborne rather. So you don't have to fall down. But ZSS is, like, one of those ones where it's just like, I'm just going to do this shore you out of shield real quick on you. That was beautiful Nair to up air. Yeah, man, Mega, Mega definitely got those. I feel like that's the that's the Ike staple right there. Just if, if if you're an Ike player, you know how to just connect your your B and Bs and your, your kill confirms really really nicely using that there. I feel like these guys are still feeling each other out like a good amount. Uh, like they're trying to evaluate like what's the best approach, and it seems like Mega's kind of a gauge of it, and then Sensei is responding to that by just mixing up his movements. Like you saw right there, he did like the B reverse neutral B from flat and it like completely threw off my <laughs> ZSS also being like one of the slippier uh, more slippery characters I feel like to hit I feel like just given how quickly she moves and how thin her hurt box is it's like pretty hard to get her pinned down if the ZSS is moving like super duper well Ooh, there you go another boost kick out of shield for the troubles right there Really, Sensei just like playing really, really well at ranging Mega out, not letting Mega get anything too crazy started up. Who does that, man? <laughs> <laughs> Who does that? Just throw out boost kick. Well, these guys are insane. <laughs> oh, jeez. Only Sensei. Only Sensei. Oh, and Mega with the triple quick draw to make it just back into neutral. Why not? You know, if you got a movement tool, use it. Ooh, the dream! <laughs> what was that dream? It was a flip kick and up air connecting and, and just trading for kills. That was epic. That was so cool. Well deserved mutual taunts all around. <laughs> all right, Let's see what he gets. He can get the follow up, but gets the tech chase. Yeah, I, I can get his combos off pretty, pretty nicely. Like, if he gets one hit, it's pretty much guaranteed into the next hit if he hits that Nair. Uh, ZSS kind of just have to work on her chip damage here and there, and more so rely on what the opponent is going to do on disadvantage before she takes her next swing. But I want to see how... But it's working for Sensei right now. He's just getting all this chip damage, and his follow-ups have been really, really crispy so far. I think Sensei just has a gauge of where Mega wants to go. Like he's full hopping from like left to right, and Mega doesn't really know how to respond. 
He's definitely getting picked out of the air uh, a lot of the time for the options he is selecting. I get. <laughs> no, you're kidding me, right? It, oh, it is like a it is like a really really valuable tool for catching flip kick on the stage. That thing is so good at catching full hops and also very very high uh, recoveries. So really really clutch stuff to Mega right there for using that uh, Aether to really clean things up for him. And he did it three. He did it twice. He not only did it one time to win neutral. I, I feel like Sensei could have just opted to go low there, and then he was out of a jump, I believe, at that point, or just didn't think Mega would run off stage, considering he hadn't really done it the entire game. And, uh, Sensei get, gets cleared right after that one. Well, uh, I mean, I, I, I didn't see that coming at all. <laughs> yeah, neither did I. Yeah, that's, that's Mega for you, though, honestly. He'll just pick the craziest, wackiest option, and it, it'll it'll work. You know, you, you, you cannot sleep on my man. He, he He's like a Venus flytrap. He just waits. And... And then when you least expect it, you get caught. Yes, yeah, certainly, certainly. And I just... What, what's interesting about Ike is you wouldn't expect something like Aether to be, like, the option to cover ledge. Like, typically, Ike's like to do F-tilt at ledge. That's usually the way to go. Um, but no, Mega's like, no, we're just gonna go for like, the wonkiest option, and then it works. Yeah, I'll see, I'll see a lot of Ikes do like F-tilt or down-tilt to try and catch lower recoveries, or even like a retreating fair to catch the high one, but with the, with the new uh, Aether buff that Ike received, uh, it's definitely a really, really great tool to catch any kind of brazen jumps back to stage, because it just covers so much space. <laughs> Devin got the bangers playing right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just some nice tunes. This is a good tune. Mega now taking more of a control of this game thus far. That being said, though, I love Ooh. that stun into roll behind from Sensei to, to get Mega close really to the blast zone instead of doing it from the other side. That was really, really smart on his part. A little bit desperate there, but that's okay. All right. Yeah, he has, he's not really sure how to approach Sensei. He's kind of just throwing out dash decks. Ooh, okay. Yeah, now, now that Sensei seems to have established the lead a little bit better for them, they're able to stay away from Mega and kind of wall him out. I would, I would just like to see Sensei continue to just keep walling out Mega and forcing him to approach, so that way every jump will get called out by a fair. Uh... Right now, Mega just kind of struggling to find his way in, but from what we've seen, like, he's able to clutch it out when it matters most, so I'm sure he'll wrap up this kill pretty soon. But Sensei's doing a really good job of just zoning him out, but he's not letting him get any sort of hit. My man has been waiting for these Aethers and just calling them out uh, as soon as they come. You you really can't afford to overcommit against CSS because she's so quick that she can just lift punish you at a moment's notice. Not even, not even budging from her ground right there, but of course when she finally jumps forward, Mega tends to get the hit off. It's it's so scary being in the corner against Ike. I feel like they're both scared to approach at this point. Yeah. <laughs> Who's gonna get the kill hit, basically, at this point? Like, uh, who, who's gonna overcommit first? Because now Mega has been playing way more reserved now. I think he realizes because Sensei's not really falling for a lot of his brazen approaches, so now he's kind of hanging back just a little bit. Uh, but Sensei's not taking the bait either, so both of them are just kind of at a standoff right now. Ooh, that could have been a kill opportunity. There's a lot of end lag that CSS goes in. Uh, if she does grounded flip kick, she's forced to land, and then for some reason her ankles just break, so she has to like readjust them real quick. Dash yeah, just cleaning it up. Hopefully Mega can bring this back before Sensei gets a good hit off. I like how much uh, Mega has been respecting Sensei uh, just sitting in that shield right there because he knows if he gets poked out one more time, he's probably going to end up uh, dropping the stock. With that said, I really like the way that Sensei's like conditioning in the shield. Like you saw that, he was just dash dancing and then Got that grab. Mega responded by staying in shield and he just went for the grab exactly what we want to do at the late percent like you just want to put them in a place where they they keep relying on a bad habit and then you execute mega's also got to be very careful he's not holding shield for too long because zss can get a lot of pokes uh, especially with side b uh, so he's got to watch out for that Ooh, okay finally 
perfect. Finally getting killed by the up throw right there. And then, this is looking like really, really good for Sensei right now. He's just playing this so, so patiently and waiting for Mega to swing first before he does anything. And it's it's been really paying off for him. Like both these both these dudes are like play, taking the SATs right now. They're just waiting. They're so patient. <laughs> It, it, see, it seems like Mega has like become aware of the fact that Ike does kind of struggle to get in on characters with a lot more mobility. He tends to really pick off characters that kind of stall in the air for quite a bit. But ZSS can pretty much be from one place to the next at any time. And I love that Sensei hasn't been like has been respecting the the danger zone that Ike has and the, the space he can threaten. Ooh, more damage. Does not give it anything. Mega's just trying to desperately find this hit right here, but Sensei is just not giving it to him. It's good staying in the center, letting Sensei do the approach. It's good. And Sen Sensei knows he's up too, so he doesn't have to overextend or approach at all. It's really pretty much up to Mega to kind of tie this game back together for him. But one good nair to up there. He's gonna wrap up that stock right there. Now we're on last stock, so things are looking a lot better for Mega. Look at Cash with the nair up here. Such a good kill confirm. I think that can be a pitfall of almost playing too patiently sometimes. I feel like if you wait too long and you're not kind of... Because, like, Sensei's been dancing around with a lot of movement and not poking out as much as he is right now. And I feel like that could hurt. Because, yeah, yeah, you can wait out your opponent and wait for them to swing before you blow on the damage, but you still want to be able to threaten them with options and make them scared to throw anything out. Ooh, great parry right there. That was really, really good. We saw this in game one. Mega was last dog hyper percent. He made a comeback. True. This could happen. Got Ike with rage, so anything, anything can really happen. That up smash, not pretty far off killing so far, but however, that really, really well placed up air is going to take us into a game three right here. Yeah. Yeah, Sensei really just staying very, very patient, tightening it up, not really giving Mega any opportunity to pick up any sort of momentum, and he kind of started just floundering center stage, and when he finally dashed in to do something, uh, Sensei got the snap on him. Super duper patient play right now. And I think, I think honestly, that's kind of how you have to treat Ike sometimes, just because he can be really, really good at walling you out, or just uh, and when he does get momentum, it can be very, very scary, especially for a, a lighter character like Zero Suit. Nair up air. Nair up air is, is doing mega justice right now. I think these platform extensions with uh, with Nair have been really, really working for him to get his kills a lot of the time. But it just seems like Sensei has more kill power at his disposal, or is rather able to take advantage of Ike's uh, shortcomings a little bit better. And and just like game one, also I want to note that the shoe is on the other foot this time. Like Mega was kind of caught sleeping in the air, just like how Sensei was kind of caught sleeping. Uh, the prior game before it seems like these guys are just waiting for their opportunity and waiting for uh, waiting for the opponent to think that they're not going to swing and then just when they think they're not going to swing then they swing Smashville game three I definitely like this stage for zero suit especially in this matchup you know, not really a lot of space for her to navigate it also be pretty good for Ike though too just given how small it is it seems like Mega was struggling to close in the space between him and Sensei for the majority of this set. It's a grab. It's a little bit of damage. My man's just swinging. Just saying, come, come, come to this sword. Come here. <laughs> the stage is fascinating for both characters. I feel like they both benefit from it. Like, I can just fall through the mid plat, mm -hmm. and you can just cover ledge because his sword is so long, and then oh, yeah, you have a DSS real. that can just fall through plat and do safe nares, or you can like flip kick into mid plat. Like, right, like what he just did right there, he was about to flip kick to mid plat for safety. Yeah, and, and flip kick, flip kick can really bring Sensei pretty much cross, cross stage here. Like, you don't really have to worry about. Uh, 
any sort of retreat or anything like that. Nice dash tank. I think the biggest threat right now is just how big Mega Sword is and how much space it can encompass because that thing really doesn't have a lot of space to land now that uh that Mega is at this stage. And I think we're seeing that really, really come into play here. Speaking of space, I feel like Mega is just doing a much better job of utilizing that mid platform. Just seeing all these near to upper extensions. Racking up so much percent. We got, we got to see some. Oh, that's oh, no. I thought we were going to go for F smash or something like that. Mega, Mega will tend to opt for the big punishes a lot of the time rather than just getting the safe damage stacked on. Uh, more of like an all or nothing type thing. Oh, wow. He's just running away with this game three right now. So beautifully done. And I got to say, like, his ledge play is getting better as well. Because uh, before it was like he couldn't come back from ledge, and now he's mixing up with the. Off stage side bees, and even right there, he mixed up with an off stage up B. Yeah, my, my, my man is definitely finding himself better. right now. He is not playing Sensei's game anymore. He's saying, I'm gonna swing this sword, and if, if you do not, if you, if you land into it, that's your fault, buddy. And right now, Sensei kind of struggling. Like, he doesn't really have the space to wait out Mega most of the time. Like, he's almost forced to make a move every single time Mega even gets remotely close to him just because of how much space I can cover on this stage. He just doesn't have a place to run away anymore. Like, before, it was like he could just run all the way to ledge. And now, if he runs to ledge, well, Ike's sword can extend and just kill him early because the side of the blast zones. Oh my god. <laughs> These upbeats have been so scary. Because literally one good smash attack from Mega now will kill. Threatening with the fair. Man, Mega just has complete control of stage right now. Like, there's been almost no way to sensei the land right now. Yeah, one, one, more, of the, one more of those will probably kill too. Oh, like yeah. a read. Oh, there's a read. Second verse, same as the first. You know, if it didn't work once, try it again. <laughs> That's what happened right there. He tried to catch the first uh, get up from Mega. Sensei was forced to kind of guess what to do there. If I were Sensei, I probably would have just backed off and tried to flip kick over Mega since it didn't seem like he had any intention of jumping whatsoever. But it's just it's just insane how much space I can threaten on this stage. I don't think Sensei was aware that this was a very, very powerful counter pick, especially for Ike with a play style uh, such as Mega's. That, that will be the set, so Mega going to be actually traversing throughout the bracket. Still really good stuff and improvement from Sensei's uh, Zero Suit Samus. You know, it's been, it's been doing really, really well. I know a lot of Tri-State heads have been picking up Zero Suit lately and getting some good results, just like WebJP and Sensei. So keep it up, guys. Keep keep working on those top tiers. Uh, who we got coming up next? 